Hello and welcome back to Adventures with Piccadilly. Today is the day before Halloween and so we are going to be assembling our family Halloween costume. Today, uh, this year we are going as number blocks from the popular kids show that my son is a little obsessed with. So let's get it together. First is the number one and Aaron, Bubba, my son, is going to be the number one. So for it, I have this shirt. It'll make him the number one. And then I also have just black layers and red shoes to make him look like the character. A plush number two for us to carry around. This will be nice because it'll let Sissy hold something in her hand and not try to grab all the candy. Number three is going to be Papa Dilly. So let's get a move on making that one. So I have this card for reference. This is what the number three looks like. So for number three, I got a yellow sweatsuit for Papa to wear, which I am going to put the other pieces on. It has basically two main elements that I'm going to want to recreate. It's these circles the juggling balls on the top and then the three triangles for the hat the cabbage make another sausage and if you want to Headbands to try to make the numbers. And so this is what I'm also going to be doing the jester hat on for the number three. And my plan is to use hot glue. We'll see how. Step one of number three. Oh, I haven't put the number on it yet. So what are um, um, we making, Mai? What are you doing? I gotta wait for yours. So I'm making Papa's. Papa's gonna be the number three. So he's got the hat, and I'll put the number up here, and then he's gonna wear this and this, and I'm gonna put the three balls right here, and I'm gonna cut them out of felt paper. Can you make the? Can you make the dots? That's what I'm doing right now. Mm, but I really don't want you to lose them. I really want to put them. I get that. I do. <laughs> what is two by four? Um, six. 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 What about three plus three plus three? Nine. What about... Uh, we're not going to use the white. I don't think. I don't know why you got to be. 
And what is that going to be? This is going to be the number four. And it's going to be your trick-or-treat bag. Isn't that cool? Cool. So we're going to have to use the foam paper to make his face for the number four. But first we got to cover up where it says angles because that's not. Well, let's do this. All right, let's do this. So first we're going to use a piece of green paper to cover up where it says angles. What do y'all think? Bye bye. Alright, so continuing on, you've seen one, two, three, and the bag was four. This is our five. It's another stuffed item. No, ma'am. For the number six, which is going to be me, I have a purple dress, and then I'm going to cut out foam circles in this blue color um, and attach them with magnets because I don't want to mess up my dress Mommy. to make the six and wear red shoes. So what I'm going to do is because I want to get six circles out of these two sheets I'm going to use my collected assortment of mason jar lids to find a good circle shape that'll let me do three per page without too much loss. Now I have six blue circles for my number six costume. So this is my purple dress that I'm gonna wear. Again, you can see the purple dots, but unlike the hoodie for Papa, which I hot glued the 
foam circles directly to. I don't want to risk ruining this dress that I wear all the time. So I'm going to attach the circles to magnets and then use those to keep them on the dress. With other magnets, as such, put on my purple dress. And the final number block that we're going to be doing today is for baby Sissy. She is going to be lucky number seven. And this one is actually really fun because I found all the pieces. So I'm going to use this rainbow pajamas and her rainbow Crocs. And then I found this rainbow crown and tutu, which I think is super fun. And I think all together is going to be really glorious. The only thing is this was actually for a one-year-old birthday party. So I'm gonna have to take off where it says one and then we'll use this crown as the crown that we attach the number then to. Mm -hmm. So the last step will be to actually attach the number wings to the top of each of our costumes. Um, so for Sissy's number seven, I'm just gonna do it right onto her crown. So for the seven and the three that I already had headpieces for us, I just simply um, hot glued their number wings straight onto them. For the other two, I had to get a little bit more. I'm going to hot glue the one onto this pipe cleaner that I'll then use on the headband for the other. Whoa! You didn't just see that, but one pipe cleaner. Done. Look at Oma. Hi, Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.